Okay, folks, we're back to the uh, the hill climb, which I showed you guys before that was done with the uh, SEX-10 uh, Unlimited Rubicon JK. Just for fun, I'm going to try climbing it with some eye rocks uh, with the blazer. So uh, hopefully this one makes it to the top faster than the Rubicon did. If it does, you know, I'm gonna I'm going to uh blame it on the JK breaking the trail first. Oh, too bad the camera can't pick that up. There's some awesome side roll on that tire where it's the beat is literally being tested. Safe. That one would have been violent. <laughs> oh, look at this. How are you gonna recover from that? <laughs> There's nothing to explain that. Um, this is a... Uh, this is a rather unique circumstance right here. So we're gonna reset there and we're gonna call it good there. Oh wow, that was amazing. This is violent, I love it. Seems to me like it's having problems getting over that little root. It's got that Chevy hop. And another roll. All right, so we have made it past stage one. Now we got to get up the rest of this. Ah, so much for stage one. Folks, this K5 loves the tree. I'm busting my ass just sitting here trying to hold the thing. We're pretty much at the summit now. Just a hair more to go. There we go. Well, not quite. Got hung on something up there. It's gonna be hard to keep the uh, ass of this thing down, especially with that battery in the front. I'm gonna try. 
like I said, couldn't guarantee anything. Because that is a very heavy battery front vehicle. So, we roll her over. As you all know, driving and filming at the same time is one of the hardest things to do. So this part of the video is going to be probably a little shaky. Oh yeah, I get that flex going over the thing. Get the tires cleaned off again and uh, we'll head back to the Dodge. Ooh, one other test. Will it swallow my truck alive or will it go through like the Rubicon did? Made it. All right, now in a uh, stupidest moment I've ever done. This is Chapman's Bar Road, very busy. We're gonna drive across, because Blazers have right of way. The fact that I just successfully did that and didn't get run over means it's a good day. So as we start limping back towards the Dodge, which is right here. I'm gonna show you what else I brought out today too, besides the uh, K5 and the SCX. Let's see, let's get the power shut off. Black Beauty. Move people to get out of the way so I didn't sound like a complete idiot in front of them like I care though. Black Beauty you guys have seen was a uh, truck that I got off of a uh, fellow RC crawler member in a trade. Uh, I was gonna, had full intentions, I had her out today and the uh, grub screw on the uh, front axle decided I wanted to back off so I lost Four wheel drive on her, so unfortunately didn't get any uh, good trailing video out of Black Beauty, but you can see just by changing over to the Tamiya standard shocks, I've got boatloads of uh, boatloads of articulation for an old K5 pickup. It's run off of a standard uh, Traxxas uh, top qualifier radio, 2.4 gig. The Jeep, the K5, and most of my rigs, you know, run off of a Spectrum DX3C. And uh, pretty much I'm going to start the truck up and get a little bit warmed up. Yes, that's right. Live in the south, you got to have a loud ass truck. Oh. My Dodge is no exception to the rule. Oh, you guys want to see the plate number? Sorry, you can't. All you get to see is that it's Cheatham County, and it's Tennessee, and my license plate. Standard 4.7, uh, 
Oh, voided the license plate again. Standard 4.7 liter, straight pipe, dual exhaust. Uh, some cheap ass echo tips, but hope you guys have enjoyed being out here on the uh, public walking trails. So you see over there, the sign says uh, Cumberland River Bicentennial Trail, Eagle Pass Trailhead. We were over on the Sycamore Harbor Head. I had uh, Black Beauty over on the Eagle and that's where the drive shaft let loose on me, but no big deal. Um, hope you guys enjoyed being out here in the beautiful uh, sticks. I mean, what else can I say? I love being out here. There's, if you look around, 360 degrees, nothing but badass. So once again, uh, I've created a website, uh, www.southernfriedrc.com. It's still in its uh, infantile stage, so, uh, you know, there's something I want to look at real quick, too. These are going to be really long-ass videos, but I know you guys love the long ones. Um, we used to go back here and tear the shit out of the trails of four-wheelers, which you still can, but you get in a lot of trouble for it now. Ah, uh, yeah, I wouldn't even bother trying to take my trucks in here. Usually this is dried out. And it's really, really muddy. But right now it looks like zombie shit, so I don't even, I wouldn't even want to put a boat in this water. It's so nasty. But either way, like I said, start a website, southernfriedrc.com. It's in its testing stages. I'm going to be trying to get everything all up working and functional for you guys. If you guys want to check that out, you can also check me out on RC Crawler. My uh, username is The Man Cave. Um, of course, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like, don't like. If you don't like these videos, you've got to hate nature. And nobody hates nature. So, later guys.